Hey folks and welcome to the uh, update for Saturday the 28th of August. It's quite a lot to get through today so I'm I'm going to do this one then I'll update the Northern League Bank Holiday Monday games late on Monday night. Uh, so if we have a look at uh, the Northern League, the wins for Lancaster, Fullwood, Netherfield, St Anne's and Garstang and there's a draw between Longridge, Longridge and Blackpool. Uh, St Anne's and Fleetwood was my game of the day. Fleetwood really needed to win this one, but the outcome was all too predictable. And St. Anne's 167 for 7 was always too many for a struggling Palace Shield bound Fleetwood who could only manage 134. A sad demise for Fleetwood. They're a nice club and a long established Northern League club. Uh, it looks like we're saying goodbye to them out of the Northern League for one season at least. Uh, but that's a, a decent win there for St. Anne's. In the Palace Shield, uh, there were win I'll do the performances after this, then we'll do the tables. With the Palace Shield, there were wins for Eccleston, Penrith, Preston, South Shore, Vernon Caris, and Thorns and Cleveland. Uh, I'm just missing the card for the Vernon Caris game. The game of the day was Thorns and Cleveland versus Barrow. This was a cracker, a really tight game. Uh, Thorns and Cleveland posted 219 for seven, really impressive. Barrow came up four short as they were all out for 215 with two balls left. And that makes it quite interesting at the top, as we'll find out later. In the Westmoreland League, there were wins for Esham, Shireshead and Wharton. Uh, Bear versus Westgate was a draw. That's four points to nine. And Carnforth versus Arnside was a draw, seven points to two, which means that Carnforth have won the championship uh, with that. Uh, Millthorpe and Trimple, there's no report posted there. I'm not going to worry too much about that, unfortunately, because it's a mid-table game. Uh, we might uh, have a quick look at that later in the day. Game of the day was Sedgwick Hesham. Again, another pretty close game. Uh, Sedgwick posted a competitive 201 for nine, thanks to some bigoting from uh, Chris Evans. He's always likely to do that, is Chris. Uh, and Hesham coasted to victory, 203 for five, three overs left. Main contributors again uh, were Lee and Sam Calvary. And so if we look at some performances in the Northern League, batting Matthew Smith, he got 76 for four and against Morecambe. And Ben Barrow got 82 not out for Netherfield against Leyland. Good to see Ben back in the runs again. He seemed on fine form last Sunday at, uh, at the Mailer Cup final when he, at uh, Eccleston when he popped in there. Uh, Bowling-wise, uh, you'll notice there's a pattern here. <laughs> Danny Gilbert of Garstang against Kendall, 5 for 31. Richie Forsyth uh, back playing again for Netherfield against Leyland, 5 for 31. And Tom Higson in that game of the day for St. Anne's against Fleetwood, 5 for 31. Uh, brilliant. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure they got together to design that, but that's how it happened. Uh, but performance of the gates, that man again, performance of the day there. I thought of Taidi of Lancaster against Chorley. Uh, he's having a great season, and that's why Lancaster is so high up. Uh, I think he's leaving them at the end of the season. And to be fair, he's, uh, you know, he's had a good season. They would, they would have done well to keep hold of him there. Uh, four for 36 and 69 out. So he's. Uh, He's dominated another game there. I mean, that must be about 10 games he's dominated like that this year. In the Palace Shield, the batting, uh, Imran Mahmoud of Preston against Croston, he hit 72. John Ede of Thornton Cleveland, he's a good batter, he is against Barrow, he hit 80. And in the same game, Greg Reynolds for Barrow hit 70. Bowling wise, uh, there was, there was no out-and-out -out bowling performances, but there were three individual performances that, that were noteworthy. Uh, Michael Atkinson for Eccleston against Kirkham. Eccleston beating Kirkham there and putting paid to uh, to Kirkham's uh, really good chances. They're still in with a sniff, but it's going to be harder for him. He got uh, 4 for 28 and 49 not out in their victory. Then Will Smith for filed against South Shore, 5 for 36 and 29 not out. And Tyne Davis for South Shore in the same game. Six for 38 and 36. So that was decent. And we move into the Westman League. And there's loads of performances here. Uh, batting wise, Ryan Nelson for Carnforth against Arnside. 113 not out. He's back in the runs. Shane Dixon in the same game for Carnforth. 70 not out. And also in the same game on the other side for uh, Arnside. Mike Shepherd, uh, the Arnside keeper. He got 93. He was unlucky at the end. He just ran out of overs to, from getting his ton. Uh, Chris Evans for Sedgwick against Hesham. Uh, he 80 and Lee Calvary in the same game for Hesham. He got 76. Bowling wise, uh, Phil Mason for Silverdale against Shires. And he got some tap, but he ended up five for 90. Oscar Coxon uh, for Burnley side he hit five, uh, got five for 21 against Wharton. And in the same game, Harry Tugman for Wharton, six for 32 against Burnley side. 
three individual performances uh, yesterday. Um, Sam Calvary for Hisham against Sedgwick, three for 61 and 47 not out. And then Graham Crowther for Wharton against Burnley side, 52 not out and three for 30. But the performance of the day, uh, Dave Jack for Shire's head uh, against Silverdale, 80. Uh, including some big sixes and four for 22 so that was decent let's have a look at the tables northern league blackpool 220 lancaster 195 longridge 192 netherfield 182 garstang 176 kendall 150 leyland 137 morecambe 128 fullwood 126 st anne's 126 chorley 107 and fleetwood 101 so chorley and fleetwood up against it uh two games to go for each of them there uh, and they're, they're pretty much up against it. Um, Palace Shield, Penrith, 180. That's just about them secure, I think. Uh, Vernon Keras, 160. They're in the box seat. Kirkham, 151. Barrow, 149, with that game in hand. Thornton Cleaves is 145. Still in with a slight chance. Penrith, 137. Preston, 132. Great Eccleston, 130. Eccleston, 121. Croston, 111. Final 84 and South Shore 65. Those are the bottom two. Westmoreland League, Carver the won the title. Uh, 243. Hesham 207. There's only two games left. Uh, Shire's Head 176. Arnside 162. Westgate 161. Sedgwick 150. Wharton 124. Millthorpe 109. Trimple 106. And that result from yesterday is not yet in. Burnley side 97, Sedbury School on 94 still, and the bottom two, Silverdale 68, Bear 67. So those are the teams in danger. Uh, I'll do a, a quick update if I get the results in for the Northern League Bank Holiday Monday games. Uh, until then, I'll catch you for next week's preview, uh, preview guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks now.